Marhaba, that's hello in Arabic. I'm Chef Kamal and you're cooking with Kamal Lebanese style. I'd like to show you the way that I like to tie a leg of lamb or any roast. Okay, tying a leg of lamb or any roast, what I like to do first, my rule of thumb, is I get some kitchen twine. Now you can buy this in most kitchen supply stores. Um, and I see the length of the leg of lamb or the roast that I'm about to do and I cut a piece that's 10 times that length so I won't run out in the middle of tying. Now I start with a boneless leg of lamb. You can start with one that has a bone in it if you'd like. You'd still want to tie that. But I always do boneless legs of lamb. Now I would have ordinarily marinated this in advance because you really want to when you're marinating it get all the nice marinade in there for a few hours and then go ahead and tie it. But what I like to do is just show you the, the way I like to tie these. Now I, I always like to try to make it as long as possible. So you get a nice long roast. And here what I'm going to do first is just sort of shape it. And you want to make it even so that when it gets in the oven and it's baking, that it'll bake evenly. So this roast, this is really a big leg of lamb. So this is about five pounds. So I'm going to go ahead. Now I've got it shaped nicely. So what I do is I just start from one end. Now if you find tying it this way a little complicated, you can always tie one string at a time in circles all the way down. But this is actually pretty easy. What you do is you just start from one end. I'm going to turn this upside down so that, no, I'm going to do it this way actually. I'm going to turn it just like this, the fat side up. And I'm going to tie about two inches in. I'm going to go ahead and just, now you want to pull this so that it's tight, but you don't want to cut into the meat. So it's nice and tight, but it's not cutting right into the side because when it bakes, you don't want it to to force the meat to, to go outside the string too much. See, so that's a nice, that's nice and tight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in intervals of about two inches and just take it down and around the leg and bring it back up. See, I hold my finger here and I make a loop. Pass that underneath the loop. Just pull this through. And then you can pull here and get this nice and tight. See, the whole time you're reshaping this leg of lamb, I'm going to go ahead and pass it under and make sure that you get the pieces. If there are any little pieces, you want to keep tucking them right in to these strings that we're passing underneath so that it keeps it nice and held together. Look at that. It's coming together very nicely. I'm going to do probably two more. I'm doing this in two inch intervals. Probably need about five for this leg of lamb. So here we go. Another one. And then this last one right down here. Okay, look at that, it's tied nicely. Now what I'm going to do, it can still sort of twist a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it and pass this string through every other loop that we made. I'm just going to go ahead and pass this through and I'm even going to pass it twice so that I can pull on it. And we'll come through this middle one, especially the center one, you want to send it through there because that's what's going to hold this whole thing nicely together when it gets in the oven and starts baking. Okay, we're gonna pass this through one more time. Okay, we're gonna pull it a bit and then through the last one. See, and this makes sure that we've got it nice and tight from top to bottom as well, not just the sides. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be very helpful when you get this in the oven and start baking it. Flip it back over. We have this little piece of string and this piece from underneath. We're gonna tie these into a loop See, we have excess, but that's okay. It's better to have a little excess than to find out halfway through that you didn't have enough string. We just make one more tie. We can actually just go ahead and cut the excess string. There we go. We have our leg of lamb or any roast that you want to prepare tied and ready to go in the oven and it'll bake beautifully and it won't twist and turn. That's how I like to tie like a lamb. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more information on this recipe and my cookbook, Classic Lebanese Cuisine, please visit us at cookingwithkamel.com. I hope you enjoy preparing these recipes with your friends and family. As we say in Arabic, sahtain, double health.